I want to introduce you all to uh, our panelists. First of all, thank you for being here. Here with us, we have today Anna Koliva and Ambra, uh, Ambra Mandoli, uh, Mandolini from the Welcome Office at LUMSA University, and also Anna Serafini, part of the LUMSA Alumni Network. So together with them, we're going to discover all of the advantages of studying at LUMSA University, and we'll get some more info on their master programs, diving into the admission process, the tuition fees, the financial aid opportunities, and also their career services. And we'll learn more about the advantages of pursuing an international education at LUMSA. You will also have the opportunity to interact with our speakers and ask all your questions live. So talking about that, I would like to remind everyone that after the presentation, we will have a Q&A session where you will be able to ask all your questions to uh, the panelists. So don't be shy. Uh, you just have to type all your questions in the Q&A box that you see here on uh, Zoom and we will go through them at the end of the webinar. So another little piece of information before we start, uh, for those of you interested in receiving a certificate of attendance by DocCity for this free webinar, stay tuned because we will be posting the link to get the certificate at the end of the Q&A session. So uh, welcome to those who just joined. Uh, and I think that we are able to start now. So without further ado, I'm now leaving the floor to our panelists for their presentation. So. The floor is yours. Thank you so much and see you in a bit. Enjoy. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ambra Mandolini. I'm part of the Welcome Office of LUMSA University. So I would, I would like to introduce you our institution. So LUMSA University is based in Roma. Uh, it is the second oldest university of Roma, and it was founded in 1939. Today, it is officially recognized by the Italian Ministry of University and Research. Since 1999, we also have a campus in Palermo, Sicily, in the south of Italy. LUMSA University is inspired by Catholic values. It is a private university that is committed to the education of young people and professionals, with a particular attention also to the professional and personal growth of the students, to the teaching activities, and to the work. In LUMSA, we offer academic excellence that is tailored on the needs of each individual student. As regard with the campuses, here in Rome, we have four beautiful campuses that are all located in the area of Prati, that is a very beautiful district near St. Peter's Square, St. Angel Castle, the Vatican Museum. So you can easily access to our campuses by transports, buses, subway, or a train, and you can enjoy your academic life while enjoying also the beautiful city center of Rome. Some facts and figures for you. So uh, every year we have a population of 9,000 students coming not only from all over Italy, but also from many countries abroad, from EU, non-EU countries. So here you can really find a multicultural environment. We have 447 academic. We have three departments, three postgraduate schools, one master school. Uh, we offer nine bachelor's degree programs, 10 master's degree programs, three single cycle master's degree, and then we have more than 70 professional degree programs, five PhD programs. And while you study here, you can also uh, participate in the Erasmus projects. Indeed, we have 344, uh, uh, sorry, 324 European agreements and also 35 extra EU agreements. Every year, 95.9% of our students is satisfied and concludes the studies. Um, this is because we offer uh, Erasmus uh, mobility programs, uh, internships. Uh, in fact, we, offer, we offered more than 2,200 uh, 2, internships last year. Uh, LUMSA experience as a student. Uh, here the students are really at the core of the university. So uh, our professors, the teaching staff and the off offices always maintain a direct and ongoing relationship with the students. So if you come to study here, you never feel lost. You are always supported by the offices and the professors. You also find the programs that are uh, designed to uh, deliver high level technical and cultural skills for you. 
uh, LUMSA has uh, really lots of students uh, every year. We are an international recognized academic institution and it is uh, the good place for your personal and professional development. Indeed, the university life here provides you many opportunities for debate and participation. And here you can also find the close links between humanistic tradition, technological innovation, and our Catholic roots that are at the base of LUMSA University. For those of you who are interested in, join, in joining LUMSA University for a bachelor degree, you must know that in Italy, you must have at least 12 years of previous schooling. If you have 11 years of study, you can join the foundation year. That is a program for all international students who have completed 11 years of study and have to fill the gap of this one year that is missing. This program is completely in Italian language and it issues 60 credits. Uh, once you conclude the foundation year, then you can apply or for a bachelor degree in Italy of three years or uh, for a single cycle degree programs that is of five years. The applications are already open and if you want to know more about this program, you can email our welcome office. Here you can see the email address international.admissions at lumsa.it. Speaking about the academic offer, so here in Rome we have two departments, the Department of Law, Economics, Politics and Languages and the Department of Human Studies. As you can see, in both departments you find, you find single cycle degree programs of five years, bachelor degree programs of three years and master degree programs of two years. Here in this slide you can see all our programs. Please note that uh, the single cycle degree programs and the bachelor's degree programs are all in Italian language and also some master's degree programs. But we have in this moment some master's degree that are ex exclusively in English. And I am referring to the master in management, finance and data analytics, international relations in the digital era, marketing and digital communication and psychology of work and organizational well-being. So these four master's degree programs are entirely in English language and for international relations and marketing and digital communication, as you can see, there is also the possibility to apply for a double degree and you can go and study abroad during the second year of your studies in a university in France. So University of Lille for international relations or FAP Institute of Paris or the Catholic University of Lyon in France for marketing and digital communication. As I was explaining before, LUMSA University has a lot of international agreements and we have the International Relations Office that is in charge of all the students who are interested in going abroad to spend a period of study that can be of six months or one year. So you can go in a lot of EU universities, but also in non-EU universities in countries like USA, Canada, Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, India, China or Serbia. As regard with the admission process, the fees and the scholarships. So the admission process depends uh, on, on the country, country of origin. origin. So EU or non EU country. Uh, international students who pre enroll at LUMSA before the end of July every year pay uh, a special cost. So a discount of 50% on the overall enrollment fees. So they pay 4,250 euros per academic year. This amount can be paid in four installments. So this is a competitive price that we offer to our international students as a private university. Studying in LUMSA means also the possibility to access to some scholarships, for exa example, the regional scholarship Lazio Disco, the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs scholarship, but this one is only for master degree programs. And then we have the private association, Associazione Tincani, that is only for enrolled students. As you can see, the applications for the academic year 24-25 are open. Now uh, I will leave the floor to my colleague Anna Paviva that will explain you everything about the admission process. Yes, good evening to everyone. Application for master's degree in LUMSA are generally open in December, so they are already open. Students can apply online on a dedicated link that is on our website. Applications for bachelor degrees are generally open in springtime. 
So students have simply to send their documents to the welcome office by email for a previous evaluation. On our website, you will find all the link to apply. Studying at LUMSA uh, is also um, studying in a very important central university library that contains about 2,000 workstations, 200 workstations. There are a lot of volumes, current journals about social sciences, of law, economics and politics, communication sciences, education sciences, and 22 multidisciplinary databases. There is also an important collection of um, tests and books that are dedicated to bioethics section. Living at LUMSA uh, means also living in a very comfortable rooms. We have uh, dedicated residences here in the center of Rome. LUMSA offers comfortable student accommodation with two residences in Central Prati district near the Vatican. In Piazza Adriana, we have a residence that is of 17 double rooms and single, single ones. The building is air conditioned and accommodates about 40 people. In Piazza delle Vaschette, there is another residence that has 11 rooms for a total of 25 people. Residents have access to two scenic terraces overlooking Borgo Pio, Vatican, and Castel Sant'Angelo. LUMSA has also several agreements with important agencies uh, to which it helps students in founding solutions for their stay in Rome. Here in LUMSA, we have also the Language Center for Certification that is named Click, Click Center. With Click Center, you can get all the certification in the most important languages. For example, in English, in Spanish, in Italian, in German, French, but also all the non-European languages. In LUMSA, we have also an important association to do sports that is called LUMSA Sport United. You can play soccer, rugby, LUMSA games, several LUMSA games, LUMSA Cup University Party, but also you can play volleyball, basket, tennis, and all sports. Here in LUMSA, we have also LUMSA Talent Academy. That is an innovative project that provides a lot of activities and services to help students to find uh, jobs and to enter into the labor market. Uh, LUMSA Talent Academy guides uh, its students um, meeting uh, uh, agencies, enterprises, uh, doing mock interviews, job searches on social media, occupational trends analysis, personal brandings, and workshop. LUMSA is present also on the important social network, uh, such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. LUMSA uh, services includes also the app Mia LUMSA, that is the personal page of each student, where students can apply personal, personally for their exams, lessons, programs, and so on. LUMSA has a dedicated welcome office that supports students with the information of their enrollment in LUMSA. It also provides support to all the international professors. The assistance of the welcome office is not only on site for the students who are already in Italy, but also during the arrival phases, a crucial moment for international students who need an important assistance to choose the university and to receive orientation on immigration procedures. International students are also Italian students that help students of our welcome office. So I am Anna Quaviva, part of the Welcome Office, uh, together with Ambra Mandolini. And now I um, give the floor to the other colleague, that is Anna Serafini, that is of Alumni Network, uh, who will speak about her experience in LUMSA as LUMSA student. Thank you, Anna. Hi, everybody. I'm Anna Serafini. And uh, as Anna was uh, just saying, I am a former student 
uh, I graduated from Lunsa University. I studied communication and then journalism uh, at Lunsa. And I'm here to convey my experience with the university. I can testify based on my experience um, that um, the central role the students do have um, at the university, there is really an attention that it's paid to each student as an individual. There is a goal and there is a mission uh, that is trying to really assist the student in growing personally and professionally uh, through their journey. So um, I think it's something worth mentioning, especially in a city as Rome is, where everything may sound and seem chaotic and uh, sometimes overwhelming, knowing that you're part of a place that really cares for you and treats you as an individual rather than a number. It's something that I think it's worth stressing out. Um, and this also is something that is expressed uh, daily in the services that the university provides to students. So first of all, the relationship that there is with uh, professors or uh, staff at, at the university is really open. There is open communication and there is really um, a, a goal to try to um, assist student uh, in, the, in their path, uh, whether it means uh, discussing uh, career goals or uh, career opportunities um, as they uh, open uh, through the university. And obviously the teaching staff are highly trained and always open to uh, understanding uh, the students and addressing their requests. Um, also other services that were mentioned, have been mentioned earlier regard the accreditation or services related to the entry into the, into the labor market. Uh, so for students coming from abroad, there are services uh, in terms of finding accommodation, whether it is through the holds of residences that Anna was um, mentioning earlier or through um, uh, another services also open to students that allows to find accommodation in the broader city of Rome. And I think that's worth mentioning for students coming from abroad. Um, and uh, with regards to the opportunity uh, opportunities related to the entrance of the labor market, um, the alumni association is really a forum for former students, uh, young professionals, um, and also more experienced um, graduates uh, to share experiences and opportunities. So this is a relevant uh, networking uh, forum. Um, another net, another um, service that the university provides is the Lumsa Talent Academy, which also provides students with um, opportunities to learn on how to, how to present themselves, how to address uh, interviews, how to enter the labor market, for instance, how to find vacancies online and how to address them, prepare a cover letters tailored for the specific jobs. So uh, this is my experience too. I come from this university and I can testify to um, the guidance that I've had throughout my journey. Uh, I'm here if you have any related questions um, on this subject and uh, I give the floor back to Anna and Ambra. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much to all of you. So hello again, everyone. And um, before we move on, I can see that we already have some questions pending. I want to thank again our panelists for their thorough presentation and also for sharing their insights uh, on their experiences at Lumsa University. So I would like to remind everyone that there's still time to ask questions and you can do so by writing them in the Q&A box. But in the meantime, I would say let's start with the first one, shall we? So uh, we have one question here that says, what documents do I need to submit to apply? And is there a specific CGPA I should have? Okay, so it depends on the program of your interest. So for the GPA, we do not consider just the GPA. Then it depends. For example, for the foundation year program, we simply request the high school diploma and the transcript with the uh, legalized translation, the apostille and the adichiarazione di valore from the Italian embassy or a document named comparability GMA. 
For the bachelor degree program, we request the same kind of documents for the high school, but since the programs for the bachelor are all in Italian language, we also request uh, an Italian certificate like CELI, CILS or PLIDA with minimum B2 level. For the master degree program, it's different because we request more documents like uh, a curriculum vitae, a motivation letter, a reference letter, so the transcript of records of the, of the bachelor degree, the bachelor diploma if concluded, uh, and also the high school diploma and transcripts, and also uh, a certificate for the English language for the master's degree that are in English. So we generally accept IELTS, TOEFL, or Cambridge. It has to be a recent one, like no more than three years ago, obtained like no more than three years ago, and with minimum B2 level. But for the students that uh, cannot submit one of these certificates, they can pass a language test with LUMSA during the application process. Okay, thank you so much, Andra, for your um, answer. And regarding the application process, we also have another question that says, do I need to also take the test for the admission process? Uh, um, do, do you mean the second one? The second, uh, um, the second question about the yeah. Italian proficiency. No, no, no. The question oh, okay. is, do I need to take a test for ah, the admission okay. process? Okay, of course, it depends on the programs that you are applying for. For bachelor degree, there is a test online. There are 50 questions in Italian and in English. The bachelor degree are all in Italian language here in LUMSA. For master's degree, for all the master's degrees, so the master's degrees in Italian and the master's degrees in English, there is an interview online with the president of the course and a, a verification of the language requested by the course. So if the course is completely in English language, we will do a verification of the English language. The level minimum is B2. If the, la the language of the course is Italian, we will do a verification of the Italian language course through a certification or through an assessment test with our language center click. Perfect, thank you so much. So uh, we have uh, one question regarding the scholarship opportunities. So if we can circle back a little bit uh, on that topic, the question is by Carlos and he says, hi, are there any specific scholarship or financial aid opportunities available for students at Lumsa University? Okay, so our students can apply uh, for the regional scholarship Lazio Disco. Uh, generally, the call is published every year in May or June on the website of Lazio Disco. And the criteria and requirements are related to the economic situation of each student, but also to the previous academic career or the current academic career. Um, how it works. So our students are requested always to pay and anticipate all the, the fees of the academic year. Mm -hmm. Then if the students win this scholarship, then they receive a refund of the tuition fees when the academic year is concluded. Otherwise, they can apply for uh, the Italian government scholarship, MAECI, but only in the case of a master degree program and they must have received uh, uh, before applying our admission letter. And then for the criteria and requirement, uh, you should check directly the website. Uh, the scholarship cannot be combined, so you can choose one of the two. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So another question regarding another um, of the, another one of the topics that you talked about, so um, on uh, accommodation. The question is, do you offer accommodation on campus? And if so, how can I apply? Yes, we have two residences here in the campus that is near the Vatican, both of them, in Piazza delle Vaschette uh, and in Piazza Adriana. Uh, we have uh, uh, not so many rooms, but uh, we uh, can have 40 people in one residence and 25 people in the other one. Uh, students can apply personally by uh, requesting a room to our uh, dedicated office. But you have to know that uh, all international students can be guided by the welcome office also to do this request. So the, uh, the, the welcome office is at your disposal to do the request. Uh, LUMSA has also um, signed a lot of uh, agreements with uh, important agencies here in Rome to find private accommodation also shared with other students. 
So LUMSA guides its students to find accommodation in any way. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your answer. So um, we have another question regarding the admission process and the documents that the, that they have to submit for the application. But this one specifically is um, what documents do I need to submit for the double degree and is there a test to take? Okay, so for the double degree, uh, there is another office in charge that is the International Relation Office, that is the one that is in charge also for the Erasmus Mobility Program. So, uh, of course, if you want to apply for a double degree in France or in another country, you must know, first of all, the language of the country of arrival. So, for example, for the double degree in France, you must know French, I believe, like at a level B1 minimum. But this is something you should ask to another office, but we can guide you on how to contact them as well. But of course, there is an application process and a, pro and a procedure that they can explain to you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ambra. And um, another question from one of the spectators is, do you offer student support services like tutors? Yes, Allah. the first support is the welcome office, of course, because we guide students uh, from their choice of Rumsa University till yeah. their graduation. But we have also the orientation office. We have an orientation office in each building of Rumsa. You know that we have different buildings and in each building that, that is this office that is dedicated to all the requests of the students. So the students that has uh, specific questions or problems in their building, they can go to to the office to the orientation office and uh, try to help try to, to to find an help then we have also uh, tutors dedicated to our students that are the body services uh, so tutors dedicated to each course that helps students to find solutions for example for exams for uh, connection with um, teachers uh, to find books uh, to find programs and to to find each solution for each problem of course we are. Perfect, thank you so much, Anna, for your answer. So moving on to the next question, uh, Sandra asks, do you offer internship opportunities and what are the companies you collaborate with? Okay, so uh, LUMSA Universities gives to the students the possibility to participate in an internship during the last year of their study. So for the master's degree, it's the second year of study, for example, and in a field that is related to the area of study. We have an office in charge that is the, international, the internship office, uh, so you can refer to this office at the proper moment uh, to know all the companies we collaborate with uh, and how to apply. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Ambra. Uh, we have one question for Anna Serafini, actually here. And the question is, hi, Anna. Uh, did studying at LUMSA help you in finding a proper job? And do they have a career support office? Hi. Uh, yes, I can guarantee that I'm a journalist um, and I work uh, abroad most of the time and I cover international uh, issues. Um, I can guarantee it's a tough, um, it's a tough um, path to to be in. But I can. I'm very proud. I'm very satisfied of the opportunity that I have and the experience that I've gained so far. Uh, it's really of high level, and and I guarantee that the first steps into the door were obviously uh, honestly uh, through the university. Like I would not be in this path that I'm at, that I'm in today if it were not for opportunities that I had through the university in my past. And I want also to tell, um, somebody was asking about internships earlier, like um, I studied um, at LUMSA and specifically I studied the journalism school, which is one of the few schools in Italy that is recognized by the order of journalists, which is also something that testifies to the quality of the programs that are offered. Um, as, as part of the studies, two internships were um, guaranteed um, and I was able to participate into two uh, high level projects. And so that led me to uh, further progressing in my career. Yes, there are career support office. And when, when you enter in rooms, I was saying this at the beginning in my presentation earlier, but uh, I'm happy uh, to underline that again. 
you really become part of a bigger environment that really cares and invests in you. So um, they recognize your worth and they try to support your growth as you want to go. They try to help you move in the path that you really want to pursue. And so, yes, this is my experience. And I hope and I'm sure this would be something available to you too. Perfect. Thank you so much, Anna, for uh, your answer. And regarding student support, we also have another question here that asks, what exactly is the LUMSA Talent Academy? Uh, LUMSA Talent Academy, oh, for Anna, maybe? Do you want to, to respond, Anna? Please, please, start it. Yeah, okay, okay, no, no problem. So uh, the LUMSA Talent Academy is actually a platform, a uh, service for students that um, are trying to enter into the job market. So it's an opportunity for students to learn how to present themselves, how to interact with human resources from companies that are maybe related to um, the fields that they're interested in. Um, it allows students to learn about um, how to present themselves online, how to create their personal branding, how to write CVs, resumes, cover letters, um, and how to appropriately, appropriately address interviews. It's a training uh, platform, but it's also a tool for students to interact. So, and with, along with this service, also the LUMSA Alumni Network um, works uh, in coordination, we can say, like uh, in helping students grow and present themselves, trying to enter the job market and the field that they're interested in. And if you wanted to have something else, I'm not sure if that fills in. Uh, only that uh, LUMSA Talent Academy has not a specific uh, location, but it turns around when we organize meetings. And so here in LUMSA, in the different buildings, when we organize these events, they are here. Okay, perfect. Thank you to both of you for your answers. And moving on to the next question. Uh, one of the spectators is asking, what's the price for accommodation and is Rome an expensive city? So uh, as regard with our residencies, for example, a single room might cost around 500 euros per month or a double room a little bit less, like 400, 450, it depends. Uh, as regard with the city itself, uh, of course, it depends on the area where you decide to live. Lumsa is located in located in Prati near the Vatican Museum, so we are really in the in the city center. So here is quite expensive, but if you move uh, farther, you pay less. Uh, then if you find an accommodation on your own, maybe you can pay a. A single room, like starting from 450 euros up to, I don't know, 700, it depends on the area, bills included or not. So the best way maybe is to search for a place not so close to the city center, but then you can easily live in Rome. Okay, thank you so much, Amber, for uh, your answer. So another question by Carlos is, do you have any clubs I could join? Clubs, uh, do, I think they, they mean clubs of sports or something like that. We have different clubs, different sport teams. And uh, of course, uh, as LUMSA students, they can join the, our clubs and to, to do sport. Uh, each type of sport here in LUMSA. And then we have also different clubs of students. So like alumsa, alum, alumni students and other groups that can uh, join together to study together, to play theater together, for example, or other activities organized by the orientation uh, office. We have to say that the orientation office, that is the dedicated office to all students in LUMSA, so Italian students and international yeah. students, often organize uh, uh, events, um, tournaments, or the other activities where all students can be together and spend their life in, in LOMSA. Perfect, thank you so much, Anna. And uh, we have a couple of questions regarding language courses. One of the questions is, do you offer Italian language courses for international students? And there's also another one that says, do you offer courses to improve my English? 
Uh, okay, so for the Italian language courses, we offer uh, free of charge Italian language courses to all international students, but who enroll, officially enroll, in master degree programs in English. And then they can study Italian for free, uh, starting from zero, or if they know Italian a little bit, they can do a placement test. As regard with the English, if they are enrolled, sorry. Sorry. Uh, if the students are enrolled in programs taught in English, of course not. For the other students enrolled in progress programs in Italian, uh, yes, they can uh, request uh, to uh, our academic language course uh, how they can improve their English. Yeah. As Anna explained before, we have this academic language uh, center, so uh, we offer a lot of language courses. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ambra, for your answer. So another question is, if I am already enrolled in a bachelor, can I transfer my credits to your university? Of course, we can value this specific request. We have to value, of course, the bachelor that you are um, that you are obtaining. We have to value uh, the, the types of exams that you have already done. Uh, you have to know that bachelor in LUMSA are all in Italian language. So value also if your bachelor is in English to transfer in a bachelor in Italian. Because to transfer in a bachelor in Italian language, you need to have a B2 certification of Italian language. Language. But of course, we value. So uh, if you are interested in it, you can send us the transcript of records of all the exams already done in your bachelor degree, and we value the access to our bachelor. Great, thank you so much. So moving on to the next question. Uh, the question is, hello. What is uh, the accreditation status of Lumsa University and are your degrees recognized internationally? So Lumsa University is officially recognized and accredited by the Italian Ministry of Education and University. But of course, our bachelor degrees, master degrees and our programs are fully recognized internationally. So after you study here, you can apply anywhere. Okay, thank you so much. And moving on to the last final two questions. Uh, one question is, hello, I'm from Argentina. Uh, if I started my Italian citizenship pa paperwork, do I still need a student visa? So uh, if you have already um, started this application, we can value the, 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 the status of your application. Because if you are in the beginning of it, of course, we need the visa. So we need to study the status of our application in the moment that you do the application. If you obtain the citizenship before the enrollment, for us, is OK. But if it is a longer time to obtain this citizenship, we will request the visa. We have to study this situation at the moment of your application. Great, thank you. So, last question. Uh, do I need to submit a letter of recommendation in the application and what kind of recommendations are most valuable? Okay, so for the master degree programs, we request a letter of recommendation and it is preferable to receive one that has been written by a professor of your previous university. Uh, you can also add a reference letter written by a current employee, for, for example, uh, or a past work experience, but from uh, a previous university is uh, preferable. Okay, great. Thank you so much. That was our last question. So again, uh, before we say goodbye, I want to thank our panelists for answering all of your questions and also thank the participants for their questions and their curiosity. So um, I would like to remind everyone interested in receiving a certificate of attendance that they can do so by clicking on the link that I'm sending uh, right now in the chat, just sent. Here it is. So by clicking on it, you can request it. And also remind everyone that in the following days, you will receive an email with the link to watch the recording again uh, of this uh, live session. And also with all the important contact information to get in touch with the uh, Lumsa University. So uh, before we say goodbye, uh, since we have a little bit of time left, I would like to ask our speakers uh, if they would like to leave our participants with a final message.
We will be glad to have you in Looms, of course. Uh, we wait for you. Uh, we are, of course, at your disposal for each question that you have, each doubt, each support uh, from now till your uh, final decision. If Amra has to join some, add something. Yes, I just want to thank you for the interest in Lumsa University and uh, we hope to receive your emails or further questions that you have and to maybe see your application. Thank you. Anna, if you want to add something from your side. Yes. <laughs> so um, I would suggest anybody interested in, in Lumsa to reach out if you have any questions, you will find an environment that is ready to support you and happy to support you. So do not hesitate if you have questions to reach out to the welcome office. And uh, I wish you the best of luck with your choice and your continuation. Okay, perfect. Uh, so there was a change uh, in the program because we actually have two more questions. And since we have a little bit of time, uh, I would say let's answer those two, okay, if you don't mind. So uh, one of the questions is, is it difficult for a student from the other side of the world to live in Rome? It depends on what you mean. I mean... Of course, uh, Italy, Rome uh, may be a very different place compared to your home country, but then uh, it's a good place for young students, for young people to come here. We have a lot of culture, uh, things to do, places to visit. Uh, we are friendly, uh, Italians are friendly. In Rome, it is not so dangerous, so don't worry. I think you will really spend a great time here while studying. Perfect. Thank you so much. And then the final question is, what can you tell us about student mobility? Do you have any partners uh, to do a semester abroad? And if so, does the student have to cover the travel and accommodation expenses? Uh, yes, LUMSA is a partnership of the Erasmus programs, so we have a lot of uh, partnerships and agreements with uh, all the universities around Europe and also around the world. So each student of LUMSA can participate in the Erasmus mobility, so do the mobility for one semester or for one year abroad. Students personally uh, choose their location, their university in Europe or, or around the world, and spent their times there, do exams there, and then at their return, we will recognize this exam on their career. For which concern the expenses, the European commissions, that is the, the head of the uh, Erasmus programs, offers to the students uh, selected for the Erasmus programs a scholarship that covers these expenses, around 400 euro per month. So students are partly covered by their expenses. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Anna. And we have another uh, question that just came in. So the question is, hi, before you go, if you could please answer me. Um, and we have two questions. The first one is, is it possible to work while studying and does the student visa allow it? And the second one is, how much money do you think a student needs to leave and study uh, in LUMSA? Thank you. Okay, so for question one, yes, uh, for us it is possible, of course, if you want to work and study. Then if you can work with the student visa, this is something you should check maybe uh, in advance with the Italian embassy of your country of residence and also here directly with the potential employer. And then as regard with how much money do you think a student needs? Uh, uh, I would say maybe minimum 1,000 euros per month. I don't know. It depends on you. You have to consider this, the room and the bills. Uh, so minimum 500, 550 euros only for this and then the rest uh, to leave. I mean, uh, the shopping, uh, have fun. So minimum 1,000 euros per month. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Andra. And another question just came in. And the question is, does LUMSA have a dedicated department or policy against discrimination of foreign students? Uh, so we have not a specific department against discrimination uh, because you have to know that LUMSA mission is the student. Uh, 
all the students. So we do not do discriminations. We are open to students all around the world, uh, to not specific religion or uh, country or uh, something like that. We are open to all students. So we fight against discrimination as human being, as um, a citizen in Italy, but also as human beings. So uh, we we are together, the students, and if they have a problem a problem like this, of course, we are near next to the student and we uh, try to help students to, uh, to, to, to go over these kind of problems. Thank you, Anna, for your answer. Uh, we have another uh, question that just came in. And the question is, is it easy to find a job in Rome after graduation or is it easier to find placement in other places of Italy or Europe? Thank you very much. Maybe Anna Serafini can answer these questions. Oh, uh, it really depends uh, on the path that you, on your course, what you've graduated in, but um, I think the, uh, the important thing to keep in mind is that if you really want to stay in Rome and continue to stay in Rome, uh, maybe you'll be able to find online opportunities and ask for advice, ask for guidance, maybe through the internships, through the trainships, maybe you're able to uh, ask for support to um, in, in the area, in the company where you, you've trained, if there is any opening going on. Um, Besides, we've discussed the tools that the university provides. Also, it's on the students to do uh, it, the, the proper work to, to try to enter, the, to, to find opportunities with the support that the university provides. But it's part of, of, of somebody's path. Uh, it's up to the students, too. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Anna, for your answer. Uh, we have another question that is, among Lumsa's academic offer, which would you say are the most requested degrees by the employers in Europe? Of course, it depends on the country, but I believe the most requested degrees uh, can be economics and business, management and finance, data analytics, marketing and digital communication, uh, political science, but also uh, languages and cultural mediation, because today uh, everyone has to speak uh, foreign languages. So if you really want to live abroad, uh, you, you have to know two or three languages uh, very well. Absolutely, I agree, Ambra. Thank you so much for your answer. And another question is, is LUMSA a Catholic university or is it a secular institution? And do you accept students from other religions? LUMSA is inspired by Catholic, of course, Catholic um, religion. But of course, we uh, are open to all religions. We have international students from all countries in the world. So uh, of each religion, um, we accept, of course, all, all students. So uh, we are open. We are just uh, of Catholic principle because uh, we were founded uh, about it, but we are open completely. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Anna. And that was actually our final question. So again, before we say goodbye, uh, let's do a little recap. So you will receive um, in the following days um, an email with a link to the recording of the session in case you want to watch it again. And again, if you want to get in touch with LUMSA, you will also receive all the important contacts. And I can see here that Anna Fauiva also sent the email for the international admissions, and I will share in the chat right now so that if you want to reach out to them, you can do so already. And uh, so um, I want to thank our speakers again for being with us and also thank them for all of their useful answers. And I want to thank our participants for being here with us today and all of your questions, also the ones that came in last second. And uh, so I hope to see you again in the next webinar organized by Doxity. Doxity sorry. So thank you again and have a nice rest of your day. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye -bye. Sandra, thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.